What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next question, what we're told is that this exponential function a to the power of x plus b passes through these two points here. And we got to find the a and b value, pretty much find the equation, the function. So what we want to do in this case is create two equations if possible because we have two unknowns. So notice that we're told first off that f of x equals a to the x plus b. So using this first point, we're told that f of 1 equals negative 2. Add an x value 1, the y value is negative 2. So what we can do here is plug in 1 for the x value. So we'd have a to the power of 1 plus b, that has to equal negative 2. And this a to the power of 1, we can just write as a plus b equals negative 2. So that's one equation right there. Now the other equation, we would use this other point. So we're told f of 2 is equal to 4. So in this case, we would plug in 2 for the x. So we'd have a to the power of 2 plus b is equal to 4. And now we got these two equations that we can work with. Two equations, two unknowns. So what I'm going to do in this case is doesn't matter what you do, um, which variable you isolate for and in which equation. I'm going to isolate for this b over here because I got this b by itself there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say b is equal to negative 2 minus a. And then I'm going to take this expression and plug it in here. So continuing this here, we'll have a squared plus, instead of writing this b, I'm going to write this minus 2 minus a equals 4. And then we'll have a squared minus 2 minus a equals 4. We don't even have to put this bracket because there's a plus 1 in front. Bring the 4 over, and we end up getting that right there. We end up getting a quadratic equation. Fortunately, this factors smoothly into that. And so from here, we can tell that a is equal to 3 or a is equal to negative 2. Now, because we're dealing with an exponential function, it's stated we're dealing with an exponential function. Notice that the a value can't be negative 2. Remember, the base for an exponential function, it has to be greater than 0. And so we would ignore this solution over here. Even though if this wasn't stated, okay, and we were just dealing with some kind of abstract function or relation, then we can include this. However, we're told it's an exponential function, so that base has to be greater than zero. So we ignore the negative two, so we're only going to be working with this three here. And then we got the a value of three. To find the b value, we just plug in that a value here. So we'd have negative two minus three, which is equal to negative five. Right, so those are the two values. So the final exponential function is f of x equals three to the power of x minus 5. And you can test it. You can plug in 1 for the x value. Notice that you'll get a y value of negative 2. You could test an x value of 2, plug it in there, and then you'll get a y value of 4. All right, so those are the two unknowns.